Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and today is a Tuesday and you know what that means, it is a Euro Battle Tuesday! But as you guys well know, if you're following the series, we have actually ended round three and we are now on to round four. But we cannot start round four without picking from the bowls of truth. And today we have two bowls of truth. What could that mean? Hmm. Well, today is a very special draw day because we are picking a wild card for round four because there are an uneven amount of battles, which means there's going to be one left over. And before you all scream and shout and say, But San Marino's in the semi-final! The semi-final is actually going to be in round five. So San Marino are coming back. I've not forgotten about them. Don't you worry. The dark horses of the competition are still alive and kicking. They are in there. But no, I need to pick a wild card just to spice up the competition and even out the battle so we can get a clear winner. Now, some of you may be wondering, Well, how are you going to pick a wild card, Luke? Wonder no more. That's what these tiny little bowls are for. Right, here's the plan, folks. So in this bowl, we have all of the winners of round three of the Euro battle. So we're talking Italy, Ukraine, Lithuania, Sweden, Switzerland. And in this bowl, we have all of the wild cards. Now, some countries are not included in the wild card. Here is my breakdown. Break it down now. The only countries that are going to be eligible for the wild card are the countries that have not faced any of the aforementioned winning countries. So all of the countries that have faced Sweden, Switzerland, Lithuania, Italy and Ukraine are not going to go on to the wild card pot. Because if one of those countries got picked, we're just going to see the same results again and it's going to be unfair and a waste of your time. I'm here for that fresh and new content, people. Therefore, off of the top of my head, the likes of France and Ireland are not going to be put into the wild card pot. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to pick one wild card from this pot, and that will then be the first round of Euro battles, and I'll continue to pick the other rounds from the blue pot. So, let's give this a go. I cannot wait to see. It's going to be a bloodbath. So, let's get a pick in. So, I'm sorry, Norway, I would have loved for you to have been a wild card, but if you came up against Sweden again, we all know who would win. Same old story, so let's go. The wild card is going to be... Oh, God. This one. Oh, nice one! The wild card is going to be... Oh, can you see that? It's going to be Iceland. Okay, Iceland is going to be the wild card. Love that. <gasps> I was actually hoping for Belgium, not gonna lie, but we have got Iceland, wicked. So that means Iceland is gonna be in the first round of Euro battles. I cannot wait. Finally, something that's gonna be a little bit more refreshing. So Iceland are going to be facing, he says, Sweden, Ice <laughs> Iceland are gonna be facing Sweden for round one. Love that for them. Iceland, you might not be around for long, soz. <laughs> Next round we have Ukraine. Round two, Ukraine versus Italy. Ukraine versus Italy, that's exciting. Oh, which means we have two left. So if my calculations are correct, we've got Switzerland versus Lithuania. Switzerland versus Lithuania. Now that's going to be a tough one. These are going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited! I'm looking at a couple of those battles and I'm thinking, go back. Gone too soon. Like, I don't think they stand a chance. This is the beauty of the competition. You're so sure on one battle and you think someone's going to win, but then when you revisit the songs and you look at them, you think, ooh. I was wrong. So guys, there we have it. Iceland is now the wild card and you'll be facing against Sweden. We then have Italy versus Ukraine and we have Lithuania versus Switzerland. I am so excited for these battles. I hope you were just as excited as I am. If you are, don't you forget to give this video a great big thumbs up to show me you love a Euro battle and you think that's going to be pretty good. Also, don't you forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you won't miss out on any of these future battles coming up and round four of the competition. Excellent, epic, I cannot wait. So all that's left for me to say, guys, is thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting Euro Battle. I absolutely love all of your rankings and who you think is going to win. It's so good. It's so refreshing as well that you can all join in in the good conversations. Anyway, that is all for me today. All that's left for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and guess what? I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Together.